Hello and welcome back to some more of EVE Online with me, the Green Dragon. So let us continue and let us um, clear out these relic sites. Still salty about that sleeper cache getting poached from me. Because all sites, by all rights, belong to me. Especially if I actually manage to scan them down and or warp in. But, you know, if I had shown myself... They really wouldn't have handed it over, I sure so wouldn't. That would have meant pew pew time on me, and I'd rather not lose this shit. It still sucks though. I mean, it really does still suck. Still, we've found a few... Well, we've started to find a few relic sites in this video. Well, in the last video we found three and actually worked our way through one. So, that's hopefully good, even if we don't didn't get anything f of real value from the previous one due to blowing up the one red hack container. Um, you know, I have high hopes for this one. High hopes. We might finally get some value. And you know, if I do go home with something like 150 million in my hole by the time I, you know, actually go home, you know, it sucks that I lost out on the sleeper side, but I can accept, you know, that kind of outcome. It's not too bad. See, and I always I seem to end up regretting not punching through those th all kinds of things in similar situations when you know I... Decide, oh, not right now, I can do it whenever I need to, and then... Seriously? That's an industrial thing. The frack are... Oh! It's another member of that stinking guild! I'm gonna keep scanning for freaking probes, because fuck. This, I think, is the last system we're gonna actually work on over in this part of the galaxy. Because, yeah, I'm gonna try that other Nullsec wormhole. Because, ugh, these fuckers just... Oh, I want to try and grab these if I can do so safely. Scan. Just let out. That's mildly bad, right? Oh, that's fracking interceptor. If I can see it, that means it's just sitting there, though. This might actually be their base or something. Okay, there's the core. Good. Two mil. Are you kidding me? Give me a good box. I mean, I've been doing what do you call my due diligence. I deserve a carrot by now. Seriously. Please, give me one. Oh, that stiletto worries me. Those things are good. And they can launch all kinds of nasty things. As in they're good at propulsion jamming. That same propulsion jamming that could leave us trapped. Okay, how are you on fittings? How do you... Four medium slots. So it could afford to fit two warp scramblers. And that would suck donkey balls for me. I do have hobgoblin, so I might be able to fight back. But we all know that she has uh, friends nearby. Yeah, those you want to kill... Whoops! Misclick, misclick. That was... bad. Also, I'm mildly nervous for some reason. Might be all these hostiles nearby. And it's a red hack, which means we cannot, absolutely cannot afford to fuck it up. Okay, there we go. Carrot? Oh, for fuck's sake, that's just rude. 
Directional scan. What the fuck is going on here? How close are you? Right at the edges of my detection range. She might be sitting in the other side or something. Yeah, I think it's about time I left this part of the galaxy. I really, really think it's about time I left. Because bad things have been known to happen. S yeah, this is a bad bad ship. What do I need to fly one of these instantly? Basic maneuvering, interceptors, and Minimitar frigate level 5. Or whatever racial frigate might be involved, of course. Eh. I suppose it's something I could work towards at some point. Don't see much point. If I'm gonna work through any second tier frigate, it's gonna be the buzzard. Or whatever it's called. For cheaper, more efficient, you know. What do you call it? Exploration ships. Because, you know, they aren't in theory better than the Astero. And as far as scanning goes, possibly better than the Stratios as well. Okay. So this is a red hat. We can tell by the presence of antivirus bullshit. Yeah, I had to skip that one thing, just one turn, let it regen that firewall one extra turn, just because the antivirus was still working on it. 2.6 mil. Still not good enough. You coming for my face now? No? Hmm. It's surprising. What kind of weaponry does this thing have? Two guns. That's it. Bonus to small projectile turret damage and tracking speed. So it doesn't have that much actual firepower, but it would be extremely fast and annoying. Alrighty. Get in there. Yeah, running a bit low on the capacitor. These containers are rather spread out. Unfortunately. Okay new site just spawned, we're gonna want to scan it down, definitely. I mean, not while we're actually doing this, but I will definitely want to scan it down, just in case it's a sleeper site and we can grab it. But this is the last system I'm gonna be doing in this part of the galaxy. I have enough of this region, and there is an organized band of explorers. Well, that was a mistake sticking with things around here and causing trouble for me. Namely, competing for things I really, really want. Really? Much troll? Okay, kill that one. Okay, there's the core. Kill it. There we go. Another 1.2 mil. We are slowly getting some value. But we are not having the greatest of luck. When we travel over to that, we can start scanning this thing. As the case may be. And analyze that. I wonder if I kind of have enough power and capacitor to make micro warp drive all the way over there. I should, right? How easy are you going to be to scan down? Uh, not that difficult, apparently. 3%. If it was something like 1, then we would probably be in the money, but as is, hmm, not so much. Not so much, unfortunately. Okay. If this is a relic site, and the fact that it only went up to 5.4 doesn't mean much at all. It just means that we have sucky positioning, right? It's like on the edge of the sphere or something. And that's about it. Doesn't actually mean jack shit. 
unfortunately. Okay, micro warp drive off. That is locked. Begin the hacking. If it's a relic site, that's good. Probably make sure to work my way through all of the relic sites here. Damn it. Damn it. Freaking region nodes. Luckily we didn't have to actually go through that because it would have sucked if we did. 4 mil. Still not great, but at least it's something. So we got, what, like 10 mil from this side? It's not great. It's really not great. Okay, let's get away from the container and... Um, cloak. Oh, f you fucker! Now he's over here. You know, let's just go. Warp drive active. Unless, of course, okay, let's cancel that. Oh god damn it, it resets the sphere so I don't longer have a proper indicator as to where that I need to go. God damn it. We're down to 2 AU, which suggests that we are dealing with a hard scan site. Now, what are you flying, you bastard? And is this your actual base, I wonder? Because if it isn't, we might be able to poach something. It really, really depends. Doesn't it? So let's see, shall we? Let's just see. Okay. Three Stars Association. Oh, they're French. Wonderful. Huh. I'm really tempted to talk about go how I should have <laughs> gone after that um, sleeper cache and hopefully they would have surrendered but I'm yeah no okay I have f what is that really you're using that or maybe it's the other guy Okay, that is so destructed. Okay, let's go. Let's Warp just go. Active. I assume that the sleeper cache has been ruined. So, we have a wormhole which should still be open. And it should lead to another nice area of nullsec. So let's go check out a different neighborhood since this has been treating us so poorly. Especially since the natives are such assholes. Well, not even assholes, they're just in the way. And since we do have another option, I think we'll go over there and explore our... Oh... What are you doing? Orbiting the gate? Oh, you fucker. That's just rude. There is gate camp here, that's... Oh, you bastards! You fucking bastards. Okay, the gate is behind me. They're gonna come at me straight on. Okay, MVD. And cloak. Expect bubbles. Lots of them. They are going to try to rush me, I have no doubts whatsoever, which is why we wanted to move like that. Okay, I think we managed to dodge Warp that. Whew. F 
Fuck you. Fuck you and fuck you and fuck you again, you douche nozzles. Oh, and you know what? Fuck you again. Bastards. Gate camping bastards. They set a fracking trap for me. Bastard. Okay, just jump. Jump. And a loud middle finger to the lot of you, you fuckers. We're leaving. I am done with this part of space. Screw you, I'm out. Cloak on, just in case they follow me. See? There he is. Already chasing me, you... scumbag. Oh yeah. It's on, apparently. I hope... The interceptor might have made it to the gate before me. There is that mildly annoying possibility. But all I have to do is make it to the wormhole. If I get into warp, I should be safe. On the other side of the gate, I mean. Okay. Immediately recloak because they will be trying to follow me, I think. Though they might they I, they couldn't see which gate I warp to, so it will be difficult for them. But yeah, apparently I stirred up a bit of a hornet's nest. And yeah, I am so out of here. I mean, seriously. Who the fuck sets a trap for someone just... See? See? Again, more of this fracking bullshit. Going back to my wormhole. And I no longer want to play with you people. Goodbye. Spreading out and scouting for me, you fuckers. Come on, just drop out a warp so that I can wormhole. Hopefully they won't chase me through the wormhole. Hopefully they won't guess that that's where I've gone. I mean, at some point, there have to be too many systems for them to... Okay. Warp location within 10, and immediately recloak. Said recloak. I will not show up in local here, so even if they go come into the wormhole, they should be unable to track me at this point. They won't know that I'm actually here. Which means I got away. Fuck me, though. Fuck me. I mean, they really, really wanted my ass. Go figure. Okay, health check. Okay, still good. Okay, let's pop through and see what's there. Let's pop through and see what's there. Hopefully it's a nice quiet system. If not, I think we're justified in heading back towards safer space. We have enough of a cargo to justify going back at this point and, you know, Jita is like 8 9 jumps from where the exit in low sec is so we can get back relatively easily only one in system, well that's mildly encouraging okay these, I'm not gonna be using this opening again or at least by the time I'll want to use it again it'll probably be closed already so I'm gonna ditch those Okay, that's the one inside the wormhole, we want to keep that, and we want to save a way back here. Okay, let's set ourselves adrift, reload our probe scanner, cause, you know, reasons. 
And yeah, let's go, go, go. I think that bastard actually, you know, our quote unquote target arrived there to scan down the sights and track us down or something. Which is There's only one. Huh? What the fuck? Oh, right. Legion of Death apparently rules this place. Don't they have. Don't they pirate Ojanan? Near Irokan? In whatever region that was. Damn it. Right, I want this star map. Okay, so we're over here. We're seeing what kind of traffic here. 10, 15 jumps, nice quiet systems, I like it. And that one hasn't been visited in a while. You know, it doesn't even have to be a big circuit. I think something like this might be good. Uh, pods, no, oh, this is a very quiet area. Or so it would seem. Still very quiet area. Okay, docked and active. Again, couple of very quiet systems here. Okay, good. Average pilots in space. Okay, so that's a trap and or a base. Okay. But, yeah, we have a couple of systems that could be good. All right. Let's Warp drive let's active. go and see, shall we? Let's go and see what we have out there. Let's just go and see. That corporation, though. Jesus Christ! Freaking Frenchies. They were really gunning for me. I think I pissed them off a bit or something. I mean that guy I tried to sort of go after. Maybe he caught on to that. I don't recall exactly how I went about it. He might have caught on to it and because uh, I think he saw me once or twice, right? And yeah. We might have Hmm, okay. Uh, align to launch cloak. Straightforward enough. Really? Not interested in wormholes or any such perversities. What we are interested is in relic sites and possibly sleeper caches. If, you know, possible. If the game could decide to be so generous. Because, you know, we did lose out on one. To no fault of our own. But you know, there was nothing I could... These are so not sleeper caches. You know, if I hit 150 mil, I'm really gonna start thinking about just heading home, because at that point, that's a pretty fat cargo for me. And, you know... That's a data site. I don't... think so. I could, I really could, but ooh, data sites. They really haven't been that impressive. I ugh, I really don't see that much of a point. Apparently that's an angel warlord worth 950k. And that's a battleship class NPC too. So big and nasty. Angel survey site, eh? Yeah, no. Really don't want to. Really, really don't want to. Kind of turned off on them. Except for sleeper caches. Those are awesome. When you can actually get them, which is... Obviously not always even when you find them. But there is a lot of wealth in stuff like that. Certainly, certainly a lot of wealth. 
and please be a relic site please nope another data site god damn it that's annoying let's scan it down anyway see what it actually is called shall we shall we shall we shall we okay another one of those yay okay and scanning yeah so this is a very nice very quiet sector of space or so it appears at first glance so and let me guess another one of those useless data sites hooray for me hooray still there could be good reasons for I mean I'm getting a bit tired but piddling around here a bit more might not be the worst idea for the simple reason that uh, there's just adjusting my headset for a moment sorry about that wait yeah just cause there could be something good here okay that's a relatively low percentage not enough not low enough for a sleeper site I think but still I am mildly mildly admittedly intrigued so let's see what it is yeah so it was certainly fun dodging gate camp luckily they didn't have bubbles it would have been a lot more annoying if they had bubbles because bubbles are oh so problematic but yeah if we can run a couple of systems here without there's a relic site without it becoming a problem name or other players becoming a problem I really should because we spent a lot of time digging around in crap and didn't really get that much for it considering how many sites we actually found you know you know maybe I should have I usually tend to go to the second site or second wormhole first because I'm already there usually right because I warped a wormhole before mapping it to see where it leads to and maybe I should have followed with that because this area space seems to be a lot less bad juju than the one we previously went to but I'm gonna cut the episode here thank you all for watching I hope you enjoyed this and I'll see you guys in the next one so see you then